Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold and the map shrines are finally in sky. So we're going to check out where every single location is. This video might be a bit long. I'm pretty excited though. The map shrines are going to be super handy for if you lose some way in light or if you're lost in sky, you might be missing a spirit. They should basically tell you where those missing things are. So we can find our first one in the home space right behind us here. And to activate it, all we have to do is light it and then sit down for a brief meditation and then our map will start to be drawn out so here is our first one it is home space that little icon with the uh it looks like a winged light almost that is us so that is where we are on the map at any given time uh the map is actually very huge very expansive very detailed so it's really worth um taking a nice look at everything it's all drawn incredibly well. It's beautiful. But we are gonna go and find every single map shrine, starting with the Isle of Dawn. So I believe there are nine of the map shrines to find in the Isle of Dawn. Some of them are a bit annoying, um, unfortunately. But our first one is right here, very, very easy to find. Most of them are quite easy to find in the Isle of Dawn, at least. Once again, all we have to do is light the candles, sit down for a brief meditation, and then we are ready to add this to our new map. I love the animation of the clouds rolling out of the way. It is so well done. And you could see our trail to the end of the Isle of Dawn. But first we'll find some more map shrines along the way. Our second map shrine is just on this big slope here. Pretty easy to see. I think most new players climb up the slope because it just looks interesting. Our next shrine can be found just in front of the temple right here. And this one will actually put the temple on our map. Our fourth map can be found where we find the Boogie Kid. If you're not sure where that spirit is, don't worry, I will show you. We just have to go through this cloud tunnel over here. At the end of this tunnel, there is a big floating island. You can activate a bunch of mechanisms to fly to the very top, or you can just fly on top of the clouds, which I will show you how to do. Although it is a bit confusing sometimes, the clouds definitely get in the way of your view. And they might mix you up a little bit, so just at the end of this tunnel here, We are then going to fly to like the farthest end of the cloud. I find that that's the easiest spot and then start flying upwards. The cloud should keep you charged. Just go up and up and up. And then here we go. There's a tunnel there with a winged light and we are just going to ignore that for now and fly to the very top for our fourth map shrine. Now I deliberately left the winged light in that tunnel so I can show you that on the map shrines they will show you if you're missing a winged light. So sitting down. Put the floating island on our map. And there we go. And you can see there's that little glowing twinkly star below us. That shows us that there is a winged light in this area that we have to find. So this one is just in the tunnel below. I'm going to collect it. And then if we go back, that little twinkly light should be gone.
it's gone. Nice. These little maps are going to be so convenient for when you get bonked by a krill. It's going to be awesome. Now from where we were, we are going to fly back down to the desert. And right below us, we should have an entrance to the Prophecy Caves. Now I know a lot of players have some hard feelings about the Season of Prophecy, specifically the challenging little trials we had to do. And unfortunately, each one of those trials has a map shrine in it. So we are going to have to complete, or mostly complete, all of the trials again. But before we do that, there is a map shrine right here. This is just below the entrance of the Prophecy Cave, right across from Mr. Prophecy himself over there. So there we go, we now have the Cave of Prophecies on our map. And now to unlock the one in each individual trial. Uh-oh. Alright, so I'm gonna go in order, I think. I'm gonna go um, water, earth, air, fire. And I will also link in the description my prophecy guides because those might come in handy for some of these. In the trial of water, uh, this one is pretty close to the very end. We have that final slope just before you get to the end. And if we look a little bit further towards the right, we can see the map shrine. So you can definitely complete the entire level if you want first. Um, that way you're all shiny and you walk on top of the water. But I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna see if I can make this little run. Oh gosh, can I? Oh, I can. All right, there we go. Water trial map shrine has been found. Now at this point, I'm probably just going to finish the trial because there's a candle cake at the end and I already did all of this work, so I might as well get that. What? Whoa, that's not in order. Hang on a sec. And you can see it's showing that I'm missing the winged light from the very end of this trial. Now for the earth trial, this one is just before that really hard jump, which is nice. We don't have to deal with like the super, super hard one. It's on this little corner here. It's pretty close to the end, but you don't have to do that really, really annoying one where you have to jump on like six or seven blocks in a row. And of course, I am missing the winged light at the very end. I will get that in a second. The shrine and the trial of air should be along your way as you complete it. It is like maybe about halfway up. You don't have to do a lot of the annoying jumps, which is nice, but you do have to do some of them. And finally for the Trial of Fire, this one can be found on the third floor just before you are finishing this. So right before the very final doorway where you get all those um, candle cakes, we can find it just off to the side. It's kind of sneaky. I didn't see it my first time, but it's right here. And you do not want to go through the door first. You want to make sure you get this because you cannot come back through this door. So you want to make sure you grab the map shrine first. And just like that, that is all nine map shrines in the Isle of Dawn. Now let's get started on the Daylight Prairie. In the Daylight Prairie, we have eight total map shrines to find. Our first one is just to the left of the social space up here. The next one is just below in the butterfly fields. It's super easy to spot. The third shrine is in the Prairie Caves, which was just towards the left-hand side of where we were. 
And now I can also show you that the shrines will show missing spirits as well. So on this account, I haven't collected every single spirit. I'm missing the one in this area, which is, I think, the, the yawn spirit. So you can see it's going to have a little blue spirit. That means I still have to find them. You can open up my menu and you can see, yep, I'm missing the slumbering shipwright, I think their name is. So I'm going to go collect them and then that little man will disappear. Our next map shrine can be found in the prairie village just on the leftmost island. And I believe you can see I'm also missing some spirits here, but I'm probably just going to leave them. Now let's make our way to the top of the temple. On the left hand side here we can find the temple shrine. There is another map shrine in this area. It's in the secret room with the eight player elevator. However, I'm gonna have to do that when the map shrines come to the live game because this is being recorded on my beta account. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna insert that footage here. If you see that none of the map has been filled, that's because that's all I have done on my live account. So this one can be found in the secret room. You need two people that have the butterfly emote to open this door, and you need to collect all eight spirits from the Daylight Prairie to get through that barrier. You then need to wait for seven other players to activate this elevator, so it does take quite a while. I'm just going to skip ahead till when we have eight people, and look at that! Whoa! Eight people! I'm in! Um, I haven't actually found this one before, so give me a second to scan. It's over here! So it's basically a cross from where you can summon Oreo. And underneath that one, Winged Light. This one's a little tricky to get to. Not too many people want to open that door. It's a bit annoying. And now we have the Puppy Map Shrine, which has Oreo floating above it. Very cute. Now from here, you're going to want to leave and go to the Prairie Bird's Nest. We can find our seventh map shrine right here on this little, I want to say it's like a dock, but it's for like a sky boat. I don't know. This slab of rock. Again, I am missing an emote here. Uh-oh. And you can see that Oreo is not collected. That is because this is the beta footage again. Now we are going to go to the Sanctuary Island. We can find this place by going through this little cloud tunnel below us. And then towards the middle of the island, by the bell tower, we have our final map shrine for the Daylight Prairie. Yay! Oh, it's pretty. I love the birds flying. Alright, now to the hidden forest for our next realm. Alright. Sorry for that accent. I, I don't know what that was. There are ten map shrines to be found in the forest. Our first one is pretty clearly right here in the social space. And then we're going to go for the ones that are scattered in various event areas. So we'll go for the ones that are in the flight area and the one that is in the assembly area just to get them out of the way. And then we will just finish the forest ones. 
So for our second one, we are going to head to the season of flight area, the wind paths, which we can find up here. I haven't actually come to find this one in the wind paths yet. I've just heard it's on the left island, so we are going to go and it looks like I may have been lied to. How could they? Um, oh wait, there's one more left island. Hang on. Oh yeah. Okay, I wasn't lied to. Sorry. So this is our second map shrine. And then after this one, we are going to go back into the hidden forest. So we'll just head back home and walk back through the portal. Now we're going to go for the one that is in the assembly tree house that can be found just towards the right hand side, a little bit lower than the wind paths through here. This one is up pretty high in the tree house, so we're going to fly up to the top. You can see I've done none of the quests on this character. And we can find it just to the left up here. Kind of a weird spot for it, but well, it works. And then after this, head back home again and back through the forest gate. All right, now we can work on the ones that are just in the forest area specifically. We have one right here, just before the big gate, on the left-hand side. After we collect this, we're just going to pass straight through and go through the forest brook, because this map shrine is shared with the rainy forest. Or that little rainy section. So here we have the brook. We're just going to go along the river, and along the right-hand side... Where is it exactly? There we go. Right underneath this trunk, we have our next map shrine. Now, once again, on to the next area. This is the broken bridge. We're just going to fly through these birds until we get close to the broken bridge section. And then we're going to head a little bit towards the right. In this gazebo here, we have our next map shrine. All right, from here, we are going to fly up behind us towards the uh, elevated clearing. This is where we can meet Grandma for some dinners. So we're just going to go through this door. To get through this barrier, you do need to collect all of the spirits in the hidden forest. And then the map shrine is around Grandma. Where was it again? Oh, gosh. See, I've only collected these like once, so kind of uh, figuring it out on the fly. There it is up top in the little treehouse section. And then before we leave to do the temple area, we are going to get the one that is in the underground cavern, the underground forest, the pines wood, whatever you want to call it, inside this little hole in the tree here. So you do need the stomp spirit to open up this little tunnel. 
but I am just going to pretend that I did stomp on it. We've already flown through the cavern just a little bit. Once you get to this cutscene, we are going to stop on one of these jellyfish to recharge, take a sec, and then we're going to turn towards the right hand side. So right above this doorway here, you can kind of see the map shrine. This is a pretty tricky one to find. It's really out of the way. But here we go. I think this is our eighth shrine. After collecting this one, we are just going to skip ahead to the forest temple, and there are two we can find in here. One is in the actual temple area, off towards the right hand side, and then one is at the very end in that little sunny clearing. Our last one for the Hidden Forest is just ahead towards the left. Hello! What's interesting about this part of the map is that it kind of implies that this is the beginning of the Valley of Triumph and not the Hidden Forest at all. Pretty strange. All right, let's head home and go into the Valley of Triumph. All right, so I believe there are 10 of the map shrines in the Valley of Triumph as well, but if I'm wrong, I'll just change the number. Um, I didn't double check before I started speaking. Our first one is right here in the social space. We're then gonna go down the hill and get the ones around the ice rink and in the races. Our second map shrine can be found right in the middle of the ice rink. It's pretty easy to see and pretty hard to miss. And then after this one, we are going to go towards the rightmost race. So I believe that one is the sliding race. We're not going to do the sliding race. We're just going to find the map shrine at the entrance of it. Ice rink. So yes, to the race over here. Each of the races both have their own map shrine. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess to show maybe the um, winged light that's lost within that race. So we have this one. And then once we um, sit down and meditate to this one, we're going to go back into the ice rink and then into the citadel. We're not going to go down this race. Alright, so the Citadel one is a bit hard to find, at least it took me quite a while, which is kind of silly now that I see it pretty obviously here. There we go, the Citadel. I love how it looks on the map, it's very pretty. This whole area is pretty, I guess. Now from here we're going to go to the entrance of the flying race where we can find yet another map shrine. And then after we get this one, we're going to go back home 
and then into the Valley of Triumph so we can do the Village of Dreams ones first. Alright, in the Village of Dreams, I like to do the uh, performance area just to get it out of the way. So we're going to fly in here and then you can find it on the left side of the theater. There it is. Once we have this one collected, we are going to leave into the Village of Dreams again. And then the Dreams one should be straight across from us. Pretty little theater. So cute. Yeah, I'm afraid I might be doing this a bit like a maze, but uh, I feel like this is the fastest way to get it done. And wow, a shard event. Scary. So this is where the Dreams one is, right next to the skater. And now there's another map shrine very close. It's just in front of the music shop. With that one collected, we are now going to go all the way up the hill to the Hermit Valley. You can take the gondolas up or you can fly in the clouds, whatever you find easiest. And we are going to go get a map shrine that is just above the Yeti's house. And now for our final map shrine, it is at the Colosseum. It's a little tricky to find because you wouldn't really think to look there. It is behind the entrance up here. So if you slide down the hill, it will be behind here. Pretty sneaky. All right, now it's time for the Golden Wasteland. I believe there are eight total shrines in the Wasteland. Our first one is in the social space, right here. After collecting that one, we're actually just going to turn around and quickly grab the one from the Treasure Reef of the Season of Abyss. So we're just going to go down here towards this boat. We will sit down and it will take us to the Treasure Reef.
from here, we are going to fly to the tallest tower. I don't think I have enough flight, though. I might have to do a second attempt at this. How embarrassing. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to make it. Oh. Just kidding, I made it in one take. Huh? So we're just going to fly to the very top. And there are also some mushrooms. Glowing mushrooms at the back here. So you can recharge if you need to. But they're, they were still too high for me the first time. Here is our map shrine. And then from here, we're going to go back home. Back into the wasteland. And then we're just going to go down into the first area. Here we are in front of the broken temple, and we can see that the map shrine is just right behind it. And now after this, I'm going to get the golden wasteland area out of the way, so we are going to go there next. All we have to do is just fly towards the right hand side of this area, towards the boat, sit down there, and it'll take us to the wasteland. Temple. I'm missing some light there. I'm missing some light all over. Oh my goodness. So much. Alright, so we're going to get the Golden Wasteland out of the way. Then we have all of the seasonal areas out of the way. Again, to get to the Wasteland, all you had to do was fly towards the rightmost side of that area. There's a boat waiting for you, and it'll take you here. Uh, my Forgotten Ark is very green. I have done no quests here. It's very sad looking. Oh. But I believe the map shrine is just in the very middle of the Cracked Ark. Super easy to find. After collecting this, we are now going to go back into the Golden Wasteland and continue on to the next area, which should be the Graveyard, just after that first Krill. Um, I guess a shard is falling too, so it's very red. I'm sorry if that makes it hard to see. So we are going to fly a little bit towards the right-hand side, past this little spinal rock. And past the big darkness plant, in this little tunnel here, we have our map shrine. Make sure you call. Lots of crabs around here. It's a bit dangerous. But there it is. Okay, now from here, we're going to go to the shipwreck, which is just a little bit behind us. If you're new to this area, it's just along the right-hand wall. We have this little entrance here. And going in takes us to the shipwreck. Whoa, I love the color of this place when a shard's falling. I love that it's still really green. It's like a little watermelon. Um, the map shrine is all the way over here. Very nice. And now from here, we're just going to fly to the very end. We're going to pass that krill. Don't even worry about him. Wow. The water really looks like blood. Spooky. Halloween-y. So we are going to head to, uh, what's this area called? The battlefield? The battlefield. 
We then want to head towards the barricades. This is usually where you would head anyways because there's a winged light here, there's a bunch of wax. But we're going to go towards the front of it instead of inside of it. So along the left hand side here. Just keep going along the wall and you should see another map shrine. I am very much out of light. Ah. Oh, there it is. And then our final one in the Golden Wasteland can be found within the temple. It's just past this big statue of the Wasteland Elder. Alright, so we have one more realm to go, that is the Vault of Knowledge, and then we have the Eye of Eden to finish up. It's looking pretty good, a very, very colorful, very, very cool map. Okay, so the Vault of Knowledge once again has a bunch of little offshooty, seasonal, weird sections we're going to take care of first. The first one we're going to do is the Office. Now you may not be able to enter this place, you can only enter with the Founder's Cape. So you either have to wear the cape or have a friend that has the cape on, they can help you in. Or you can just wait for an event, so like Days of Mischief or Days of Feast, this office area will be open to everyone. So we're going to fly in here, flap, flap, flap. Yeah, if it's not open for you, you can just skip this one for now, or you can find a helpful person in one of the many Sky Discord servers. And here is our map shrine immediately. It's also dark here. Very scary, very spooky. After finding this shrine, we are once again gonna go back to home and then back into the Vault of Knowledge. And we are going to go to the Little Prince area next, which is also on the left-hand side. This one's pretty far in here. I'll probably skip ahead a little bit. But it is in like the center area in the Rose Garden. Now again, unsurprisingly, we're going to head back home and then back into the Vault of Knowledge. And this time we are going to visit the Archives, which is on the right-hand wall. This you need two people to open this door, although sometimes you can do it yourself. It's a little bit finicky, it's a little bit weird. Whoops, I didn't mean to fly up, but it looks like the door has opened. Okay, goodbye. All right, in we go. And this one is pretty tricky to find. It took me a very long time. Once we get in, we are going to fly up. You might find it helpful if you don't have a lot of light to just take a pause over here and try and recharge by this lamp or some of the candles. And then we're gonna go back out Sorry, I'm not charged enough. There we go. We're gonna go back out and fly up and towards the left. See it? It's so sneaky. Why would they do that? Okay. 
I love how this area looks on the map. It's quite cool. And then one more time, we're gonna head back home, back into the Vault of Knowledge, and then we're gonna fly towards the end of the first floor. On the right hand side, we will find the map shrine. Now this map shrine is a little bit weird because it's actually shared with the second floor. So you won't find another one on the second floor. The first and second are shared. So now we're going to want to skip to the third floor where you can find that polite stance spirit, the uh, something scholar, I can't remember. Ah, cutscene. Sorry for the white flash. And here we have it on one of these many stones. Pretty easy to find. And then up we go again to the fourth floor. This one can be found here underneath all those like mini pebbles in the sky. I don't want to be stuck on you, Manta. Please let me go. This one's pretty easy to find. Sit down, fill out our map, and then we have one more spot in the Vault of Knowledge, and then we just have to do the Eye of Eden. Look at that big Manta. Cute. Alright, up to the very top floor. Here on the right hand side is the final one in the Vault of Knowledge. Yay! At last. The map is looking gorgeous. I love the colors they chose for it. They're very symbolic of the realms. And all the little doodles on it. It's just so adorable. So up next is the Eye of Eden. There are four map shrines to find and some of them are a little bit hidden. One of them is very hidden. Um, so I'll try and show them as carefully as I can. All right, our very first Eye of Eden map shrine can be found in, I guess it's a social space. No one really talks here though. Anti-social space. Pretty easy to find. I love the colors they chose for Eden. The bright orange is actually like really sinister. I'm glad they didn't go for a super dark red. Ah, spooky. At the very top, ooh, creepy. All right, let's go get the final map shrines. All right, this one is very sneaky. It is just to the left-hand side of this area. Sneaky, sneaky. This is just after that rock rain area. And this is the spot with all the pipes and the krill flying around. You can see here. So as soon as you go through that big tunnel right after the rock rain, you're just gonna fall off towards the left-hand side. And that is where one of our map shrines are. Our third one is actually in the point of no return, which is kind of weird. I didn't think we'd have one here. But once we get to this point, we are just going to look directly towards the right hand side. There it is. Oh, a little cutscene. Hello. Let me go get my map shrine, please. All right, as soon as you enter, it's on the right hand side. Look at my tattered cape. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, goodness. All right, after collecting that one, you don't have to look too hard. We just have to uh, perish. So let's perish and go through orbit. Uh. Finally, the last one can be found in orbit. We're just going to walk on the right hand side a little bit. Um, there's a secret bridge over here. Most people probably know about it because you can get a heart by completing a survey. 
But underneath, or maybe it's feedback, I don't really remember. Underneath, we have a map shrine. And this is our final one. Yay! At last. And this one is the Orbit Shrine. I'm just going to include it with the Eye of Eden because there's like four of them. Yay! We are done! It's interesting that Orbit is actually below. Very strange. But yes, this is the map. We have completed all of it. Look at that. The only one we're actually missing on this map I have here is the one from the uh, prairie Oreo spot, the secret area. But I did show you where you can find that one. We're missing it. Very sad. But to look at our journey from start to finish, it's pretty cool. You can see I'm missing a ton of winged light. I also have to get a bunch of spirits, but I'm just going to put it off and perhaps never do it. Yeah. Prairie, so pretty. All the birds. Oh, I love the art on these. It's so well done. Amazing. Anyways, yes, that is where we can find every map shrine in the game. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!